your sign of Taurus. This is Kim. I'm going to do your reading for you. I have paint on my hands in case you're wondering. So this is going to be a reading for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you want a private reading, I do those for donation. Check out the box below. All right. Let me get started here. Taurus, what's the issue going on with Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? Judgment in reverse. So this could be talking about a Sagittarius or maybe this is just an issue with being able to forgive and trust again. That's what I feel like it is, that it's about trust and forgiveness. All right, the challenge. The challenge. Six of Wands. You have a big victory for you up ahead if you'll only accept the help offered from divine your spirit guides your angels there is a big celebration to be had not just by you but celebrating within the people that are lifting you up here the people the bystanders that are praising your um good deeds whatever this is that you end up accomplishing let's see what the heart of the matter is that's that one okay Feeling like a wish hasn't come true or feeling like something that you might have wished for didn't turn out the way that it was intended. Come on again. What's the past issue? Page of Cups. In the past, it was at least hopeful. There was at least some hope of a brand new, I feel like emotional beginning, a brand new emotional beginning. Let's... um. We'll get a card for the present energy. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Child, Eight of Cups in the reverse, present situation. You're sticking it out. This is my sticking it out for the hard times. Sagittarius again. For the hard times and the good times, sticking it out, not leaving a situation. Dedication. Dedication. All right. So let's get a card for the near future. Seven of Cups in reverse, that's good because that means you're going to have a really level, clear-headed mind to think. How do you feel about all this, Taurus? You feel energized and you do feel like you have support for from Divine for whatever this soul's mission is, soul purpose. Um, something is giving you energy for that. Two. And good luck, happiness, joy. What's the external situation? And there we go. This one. Ten of Swords in reverse, meaning you're coming out of the Ten of Swords energy, which is a rebirth in all aspects. That is a rebirth. Born again. All right. Let's get um, your hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears. Two of Wands. So you're really wanting to focus in on your desires, right? And you don't know if they're going to come in or not, but you do have this focus. So I feel like this is something either a new job or maybe like a long distance relationship or something like that. It's a good sign to get the two. The two of wands. That's a good sign. That's something new coming in. And what's the outcome here? Probable outcome. Of course, not everybody's outcome. but Okay, so somebody being in like an authority position, it might be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Aquarius is usually related to this King of Swords card. So this could be any kind of authority or this could be you rebirth and taking back control in your life. That's what I feel like it is. Taking back control in your life. All right, let me move these over and we're going to do some oracle cards. Yep, just making sure you could see. Okay, so we're going to do these first. This is the uh, infinite 
Life Coaching Oracle. Infinite Life Coaching Oracle. Let's see. Automatic negative thoughts. I was thinking that today. <laughs> I was like, so there's a lot of times when I don't realize that it's starting to happen. Um, it says you are learning to take charge of the thoughts that you choose to give life to. Yeah, manifesting what is, so therefore, let's do one more. Rejoicing. That's good. See, that's that victory. Rejoicing. You have learned how to make the most out of life. You have learned how to make the most out of life. And then perception was on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get the Ask the Angels cards and see what kind of answers they have. So I'll do two of these questions. I think it usually works out better with yes or no questions. And um, think of your first one now, and I will pull a card for you. First question. Helpful people around you. Maybe even a uh, soul, soul family, soul family. Helpful people. All right, so next card, the second, second, second question. Communicate clearly. Okay, communicate clearly, Taurus. Let's get you, let's get you some tea leaves now and uh, wrap up your reading for the next 48 hours. Desk, pay attention to your work and communicate clearly. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Throne, a position of authority. Maybe it's you taking your authority and control. That's what, I, that's what, I, know what it's, I think it is about. So, sending you much love and light, Taurus. You all have nice few days. Bye.